Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to be making some cookies. I'm going to make Betty Crocker Candy Corn Limited Edition Cookies. This is left over from Halloween, because one of the best things about Halloween is after it's all done, you can go to the stores and get all the Halloween themed cereals and cookies and treats and all that other kind of stuff at severely discounted prices, because the stores don't want them anymore. So, this is one of the things that they don't want that I have, candy corn cookie mix. The weird thing about candy corn is it's one of the most divisive candies probably out of any other candy. There's people who really like candy corn and people who can't stand candy corn. And if you've never seen candy corn before, they basically look like little popcorn kernels, except they're filled with sugar. They're a little bit waxy, they're a little bit soft, but one or two of them tends to go a long way. And also, people give out candy corn by the handfuls. You don't just get one or two, you get a huge whopping stack of candy corn. They're like the pennies of the candy world. So, inside of this box, we've got two different types of cookie mix. We've got the candy cookie mix, and we have the corn cookie mix. The candy has more of a reddish type color of a tint to it. And then the corn cookie mix, of course, is yellow. Each of these are going to have the same ingredients, but you have to mix them separately. You're going to have a half a stick of butter and a tablespoon of water for each of them. And then, once you're done, you can just use your imagination and create whatever type of cookies that you want. You don't have to have them looking like candy corn if you don't want to. Which makes me wonder whether these cookies taste like candy corn, or if they really are just sugar cookies that are colored like candy corn. I'm hoping they're more like sugar cookies, because I'm not a huge fan of candy corn, but we won't know until we make them, so let's go make these cookies right now. Check out these two mixtures that, we've, that we have here. This is the corn mix on the right, and this is the candy mix on the left. And they're both very flowery, which makes sense because it's supposed to be a dough. So I'm going to do the uh, I'm going to do the candy mix first. Toss in my tablespoon of water and my butter that is um, softened, not necessarily melted, but softened. And we're going to stir all this together until it forms a dough. As I do this, and you see that it's definitely forming kind of like a dough, it, um, it smells like icing. It smells like cake icing, and it actually has sort of like a, the consistency of cake icing as well. I'll give this a stir as well. So now that I got both of those mixed up, uh, the instructions now says that I am to shape two color cookies using a teaspoon of candy cookie dough and a teaspoon of corn cookie dough. Roll into a ball, place two inches apart on an ungreased cookie sheet, and basically you can just do whatever you want. I decided to make the cookies huge because why not? So yep, I'm gonna put this in the oven, it has been preheated to 375 degrees, and we'll see how these turn out. Oh, just make a note, uh, make note, this right here is purely candy. I should have thought about it ahead of time, I wanted to make one that was just candy, and I wanted to make one that was just corn, but kind of forgot. But at least this one's mostly corn, but this one is pure candy mix, so let's pop these in the oven. And here we go, these are the candy corn cookies. Now I know that they don't look like candy corn. They're not in the shape of candy corn. Uh, the dough is very tricky to work with. It's very sticky, uh, quite thin. But these are the cookies and we might as well just go ahead and try them now. So um, I think I'll go for this one here because it reminds me kind of like a yin yang symbol. So I'm just gonna break it open. And you know, of course, uh, the inside the inside of the cookie, you know, is, is very much like a cookie. It's quite soft. Uh, give it a little smell. It smells like a cookie. It does not smell like the, um, it doesn't smell like as fragrant as it was when it was merely dough. So let's, let's take a little taste of this. It does not taste like candy corn. I really think that the candy corn, you know, is just a design. The candy corn... Uh, it was just a, a way to really entice uh, you when you're in the stores because it was around Halloween to buy the cookies because of uh, because of Candy Corn's relation to Halloween. 
But the cookies themselves taste really much like a sugar cookie. It's not too sugary. It's not too bad. Not a whole lot of flavor. Not too sweet. Maybe for some people, maybe just a tad undersweet. But still not bad. I also want to try this one. Because this one was purely made out of the out of the candy mix. So let's give that one a try. Same smell. Yeah. I think pretty much both of the doughs, they seem to be more or less the same. It's just a different color. When you close your eyes, you would think that you were just eating another sugar cookie. You wouldn't think that you were eating these crazy, you know, neon colored sugar um, um, candy corn cookies. So there you go. Mystery solved. The Betty Crocker candy corn cookies are not candy corn. They are merely cookies, regular cookies, sugar cookies that are not too sugary. And um, if you want to put like a fancy design on them, that you could if you wanted to make things festive. But other than that, well, fairly decent cookies. Clearly not the best cookies ever, but um, definitely not disgusting. So there you go. This was fun. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I will talk to you later.